the commodity market action as well. Manisha joins us and today she's going to talk about the cocoa prices that we've seen. Manisha, why has there been this kind of jump? Oh, well, yes, uh, you know, not a 10 or a 20, but it's a 44-year highs in case of cocoa prices. I mean, that tells you the kind of severity you have or the big deficit that you have between demand and supply right now. So when you look at the New York prices, we are trading at a $3,900 a ton kind of a move there. If you look at New York and London cocoa prices, the current contract has hit an all-time highs. Even the future contracts have been surging. So the problem is not just near term, but slightly ahead in the future as well. The sentiment is as bullish. The El Nino concerns clearly have been supportive. And West Africa, which is a major producer, has been battling heavy rains and also black pod disease there. 20% of cocoa crop in Ghana also, or rather Ivory Coast, is also expected to be infected because of diseases there. Ghana crop for 2022-23 fell 24% at a 13-year lows, and the markets are anticipating concerns going forward. Nigeria, which is another major exporter, also has seen exports decline 14% year-on-year basis. In the meanwhile, the demand has been quite strong. So when you look at the chocolate sales uh, in, in the last year, they have gained up by 10%. There also is a report from Euromonitor which says that 2023 global chocolate demand is expected to gain up by nearly 5.8% on an year-on-year -year basis. So everywhere that you look, the demand numbers do look strong, but the prices are slated to rise higher from here. Okay, thank you very much for that. Get into a break. We'll come back and talk.